everybody. I'm Carolyn. I'm the campus photographer at UC Santa Cruz, but my passion is in stock photography, which a lot of times I tell people I'm a stock photographer and they're like, what's that? So it's basically if you need a photo for your website or your publication or even a photo just for your home, Getty Images or Stocksy, you go on and you buy a photo and that's what I do. So anyway, uh, my photography career was born around the same time as my daughter Anna. And this was in 2002. Um, my husband was working a lot and I was home with her for the first year and a half. So I was constantly taking photos of her and videos to send to him all day. And after a while, people were like, hey, you're good at this. And which was funny because all my life, I never, I always felt like I didn't have a thing. I wasn't artistic. I seriously can't draw a stick figure. I suck at art. And I was, my mom is an artist. My sister can draw crazy. And I was just like, oh, I don't have a thing. But when I started taking photos, people were like, you have an eye. You can capture this thing and this joy in people. So anyway, I started taking photos of her. And then a friend in 2006 was like, you should check out Flickr. And that was like at the beginning of social media. And I, I got on this site and I, um, I met all these amazing people that I'm still friends with today. We, we collaborated, we shared our pictures, we um, would ask for advice. I would post a picture and say, tell me what sucks, tell me what I did wrong, tell me. And they would be like, well, the composition isn't good or the lighting isn't good. And I learned so much. And we had groups where we would, um, we would, choose a word and then we would all compose a photo around this word. We would have like a week to, to submit our photo. And at the end of the week it was really cool. All these people would put their photos in the group and we would look at them all and everybody's vision was different. It was it was so cool seeing what everybody thought this word meant to them. And I think that's what really taught me how to think conceptually. And when I got the word I would I would think, oh, I don't want to like go with my first idea. I want to let this marinate in my brain for a little bit and think about it. And I want to think about, or I want to choose a photo or compose a photo that isn't really, is different or whatever. So anyway, before I even knew what I was doing, I was shooting conceptually. So um, Getty contacted me through Flickr and was like, do you want to be a contributor? And I was like, oh my God. They want to pay me for this thing that I'm doing that I love that's just part of my life because I'm recording my life in photos. So I said yes. And I was with them for years. And I recently broke up with them because they pay us 20%. And that's just not enough. And the insult that I would get every month as a monetary payment, was not it just wasn't worth it. But So now I'm with a company that pays me really well, Stocksy. Anyway, the conceptual part of it is what I like. I like coming up with an idea and composing a photo around something that I know might work for somebody's ad. Um, just an example of this is I always see these ads for depression or anxiety or whatever, so I got my daughter who's standing in the back. Raise your hand, Anna. She's my main model. And I drew a, a frown on one of her hands and a smiley on, on the other hand and I had her like cover her face and her hair was falling down and just that's kind of what I, I think of when I'm in bed at night at 3 a.m. and I can't sleep. Um, conceptual stuff. But I also, I love shooting everything. People, spider webs. Um, my husband's my model too. Feet. What? Feet. My feet with words, everything. So anyway, I'm getting the red thing, but um, the last thing I'm going to say is the money that I'm making is amazing. and. I never, ever, ever thought that I would be making money off this thing that I love to do and would be doing anyway. But the thing that makes my heart swell is um, when my, I, I meet a mom in the parking lot at school and she's like, I look forward to your photos every day. Or last week I had somebody email me and she's like, I made your photo, the, the, my desktop photo, and I really enjoy it. And that, for me, is just spreading the joy and having everybody see my photos and and seeing all your photos, everybody's photos on Facebook, whether it be with your digital camera or your cell phone or whatever, just seeing what everybody's doing and capturing in Santa Cruz and everywhere else. So thank you.